We're doing the co-main event for Leon Edwards vs Blomhunter 2, let's go. But before we do, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share and follow, and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload, let's go. We have Tom Aspinall vs Curtis Blades. Aspinall is 14 and 3, fine out of England, stands at 6 foot 5 inches tall, weighed at 253 pounds in his last win, has a 78 inch reach with a 44 inch leg reach. Curtis Blades on the other hand, 18 and 4, by now United States, stands at 6 foot 4, weighed at 265 pounds in his last win, has a reach of 80 inches and a leg reach of 46 inches. These two have fought before, this is their second one. Tom Aspinall had a leg injury which made Curtis Blades win, which is one of Tom Aspinall's losses. We're going to see if Tom Aspinall can pull it back, get his revenge in this one, hopefully he does, I can't lie. I'm going to be biased with this one, I'm supporting Aspinall, but 2 inches of reach going Curtis Blades' favour, Tom Aspinall has an inch of height, and Curtis Blades also has a 2 inch leg reach advantage, and Curtis Blades has a higher record, so he's more experienced, but not much to go off here, let's move on to win buys. Moving us on to win buys, Curtis Blades has a 72% KO TKO, 0% submission with a 28% decision, and an average fight time set of 9 minutes. Tom Aspinall on the other hand, 79% KO TKO, 21% submission, a 0% decision, with an average fight time sin at 2 minutes, and a knockdown average of 3. Aspinall has more KOs and TKOs and submissions. Curse Blades, he has more decision wins, but also has a fair few amount of KO and TKO wins. Both guys should keep it on the feet, try and knock each other out. Let's move on to significant strikes. Tom Aspinall sitting at an 8 average punches landed per minute, 66% significant strikes, an average of 3 punches absorbed per minute in his last fight, and a defense of 66%, while Curtis Blades on the other hand. He landed an average of 4 punches in his last fight, 50% significant strikes, an average of 2 punches absorbed, and a defense of 59%. I don't remember who Curtis Blades fought last time, but Tom Aspinall, I remember it was, was Sergei Pavlovich, right? The one that everyone was like deeming the scariest heavyweight right now, and then Aspinall kind of took him out. Curtis Blades? I don't remember who Blades fought last time. Dean Blades had a whole fight card to himself, I can't remember. But let's move on to grappling. Moving us on to the grappling stats. Curtis Blades had an average of 6 takedowns in his last fight, 53% takedown accuracy, 31% takedown defense. While Tom Aspinall in his last fight had an average of 3 takedowns, 100% takedown accuracy and 100% takedown defense with an average of 2 submissions. These stats, Tom Aspinall, obviously his last fight was quite short, he knocked out his last opponent. So obviously his strikes are going to be a lot better because it was over a short period of time. Again, with the grappling, short period of time means he looked a lot better. But according to the stats, if we're just basing off the stats, Tom Aspinall absolutely obliterates Curtis Blades by every single stat. But obviously, as we know, Tom Aspinall's last fight, it didn't go the full bout. It only lasted less than two minutes. Again, Aspinall should keep it on the feet, keep striking. If he gets hurt, get it taken down. He can clearly do a lot better on the ground as well. Tom Aspinall is a very well-rounded fighter. Curtis Blades, he's well-rounded as well. But Aspinall had an average of three takedowns, while Curtis Blades had an average of six. Curtis Blades had a less percentage than Aspinall. But that's just my thoughts and my opinions. What do you guys think? Who do you think wins and how do you think wins? Puff up. I'll catch you in a bit. Take care and peace.